Hello, welcome to the tavern. My name is Jay. Back with uh, Enter the Matrix. Uh, this shit's gonna be loud in my ears. And we're gonna. Gonna play uh, the, the intro cutscene because I'm pretty sure I missed it last time. Because I wanted to get out of there. What the hell happened? I hope he created a distraction for you. A distraction? To do anything other than ruin my roof escape? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I think I've got something. What you need to do is find the manager's office. It's near the elevator control room you were just in. Could be a way out. From the second floor. Sorry, that's the best I got. You can make it. Just call me when you get there. Okay. Put that away. A is my gun. Okay. Wow. Okay. Nope. Door. Door doesn't work. Any enemies? Come on. Okay. It might be a... Oh, I think that's a bit too loud now. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's a bit too loud. At least it's loud in my ears. Okay. Okay. Much better. Uh oh. Who's shooting me from where? Okay. Um, also, sorry, I'm using this focus gauge way too much. like way too loud in my ears right now holy shit hold up gonna lower the, the sound settings a little bit so that way it's not yelling in my ears it might be a little low for you guys but that's fine
Okay. <sighs> Alright, uh, you have... What exactly? Okay. the enemies all right cool me to the next building scene yes so I'm getting used to the game I'm still gonna keep it on hard mode I get that they're bullet sponges but this is more okay so to put it in perspective Give me a moment here. We're going to put it into like a perspective. To me, I don't think the game is hard. Even though enemies have more health, uh, my accuracy is less. They do more damage, whatever. To me, their difficulty setting isn't the problem. The problem I have with the game is that I'm fighting the controls. It's... One, I'm fighting the controls, and then two, the controls don't, it, it, in a weird way, the controls don't feel fine to me. They feel like, they feel like the game is all over the place, but with enough patience and understanding of what needs to be done, everything, everything can work out. So, for example, uh, this is a game where if you need to use that focus meter a lot, it is not a, it is not an option. It is mandatory that you use it in most uh, circumstances. Otherwise, you are not going to survive the game. That'll be one. Two. Even though it's like less ammo, if I can time things right, I can still do like melee combat, get some ammo, and kind of work work things from there. Yes, the less ammo is uh not uh, is is uh, annoying, but if I if I combine like the focus with uh with like dodging, I can still get pretty much the same result. Kick in the face. <laughs> oh, okay. Running, running gun. Like right there. Uh oh. Not the best course of action here. Realistically, not the best course of action. Why is it no sound like whatsoever? And th this is what I mean. So, like, it's a crowd of enemies. I only have two sets of guns right now. All right. 
Cover. Cover to cover. Another thing is the the combat. The combat is really it's it's finicky. Okay. Okay. Not the best course of action. I do have a med pack there. Do more come? More come. Are you hiding back here somewhere? Okay. Okay, I'm I think I'm good on bullets now. Kind of just like restore my health a little bit. All right. Uh, how bad is this area right now? Oh, no more. All right. God damn it, I should have hit back here. It's like I should hide. <sighs> no, I, I know another thing I could do. I think they're stuck now. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, go with these guns here. Okay. Take my time, one at a time. Build up the focus. Not what I wanted. That works. Do I gotta like... How do I do this? Am I going that way or am I going behind me? Oh. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Got a plan. Just let me work the timing. Okay, put your back to the city map. It's opposite the big window. Good. Now, hang tight for a minute. Go. Now, when I say go, I want you to run for that big window in front of you. Jump through it. Yeah, this will work. Okay, okay. Three. Let me focus. Two. One, go! So, all this time, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad they gave me the indication of, like, where to go. Yeah, to the hard line. Like, I, I kind of saw the door. Okay. I can, I can get by this. Out the fucking way! Do I have un unlimited bullets? Do I need to reload? Um... There it goes. Hold still, god damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like readjust the volume. Whoa, calm your shit, damn. Oh, 
Holy shit. Um... I don't have a lot of health. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, all this time, um, getting out of that post office. I would like to save my progress. Loading, answer the phone. I wonder how long this game actually is compared to how I'm going to make it. All right, where am I going? Actually, I have no gun. So that's not a door. That is a door, oh. I'm just dead. <laughs> yeah, I just die. Do I got like Matrix jump this shit? Yeah. Yeah, ladders, uh, they're a thing. Um, game is stuttering. Tip jumping. Wow, what a tip. Great, I gotta go through all that all, all over again. I guess I, I don't know. All right, let me see something. Tip, uh, let's see, agents. Agents, impossibly fast, incredibly lethal, and absolutely fearless, are hands down the deadliest enemies within the Matrix. You can never completely kill an agent. They'll just acquire another body that is plugged into the Matrix. At best, you can temporarily defeat an agent, but it requires more than just a lot of gunplay and fancy martial arts moves. Okay, cool. What about jumping? Jumping over obstacles is sometimes the only way to get around the, within the Matrix. Run and jump to jump longer distances. Okay. Ah. Okay. All right. 
right. We've seen this already. Oh. Wait, am I going over here? Give me some guns. Okay, recover my HP. I wonder how long this section is. No, come on. Fucking bullshit. So what am I supposed to do? Just like fucking run? Where? Try this shit again. Oh, and uh, as for like the, tur the Turok Evolution speedrun, I have no doubt in my mind that the speedrun is like gonna be uh, fucking amazing and just like, oh shit, I didn't know you could break the game in that sort of light. Like, I I've watched uh, like speedruns of other games where they completely broke games. Give me both of your guns. I need this health. Now, question is... I'm gonna need this gun here. Okay. Uh, health come up. I gotta figure out where to go. I could fight the agent. Like I said, I could fight the agent. All right. Okay. But I don't think fighting eight fighting the agent is gonna be like the, my best interest right now.
Okay, over here. Oh. There we go. You okay? Yeah, I'm not okay, but it's itch. Tell me about it. You want a shot? Dr. Field could keep it you up. Right now, all I want to know is what's on that disc. Sir, we just received an emergency broadcast from the Logos. She did it. Yes, sir. The last transmission of the Osiris. This is Thaddeus, captain of the Osiris. It is 1803 on 1214, and I fear this will be our last transmission. Less than two hours ago, we were pinned between two search units near BZ-218. We tried to outrun them on the surface when our sensors went completely berserk. We didn't believe what our equipment was telling us until we ran smack into the middle of it. An army. Their army. It's massive. Oh Hundreds God. of times the size of anything we fought. We are under heavy pursuit oh, and have sustained shit. critical damage. We are going to attempt an emergency broadcast drop in the Matrix. After that, all we can do is hope that somehow this disc reaches Zion, and if it does, it is not too late. Drop down a Zion broadcast. I want this data transmitted immediately. Emergency encryption. Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Is the logo still in contact? Yes, sir. Thank you, Captain Niobe. Five feet from Zion. And Jesus is deadbolt himself. Give me that. Captain, you and your crew to be commended. What you have done may prove to be the turning point in this war. Do you have a plan, Commander? Right now, I want every ship to return to Zion. Move protocol as fast as humanly possible. I leave the recall in your hands, Captain. Yes, sir, Commander. And Captain. as I can be. All right, cool. We're done with the, I guess, that first chapter. Anytime I have to, like, leave the Matrix, I'm, I'm going to assume, like, we're done. Recall. Has that ever happened? Won't be easy making that many out calls. That's why we're going to use the airport. All those different pay phones will make a trace impossible. We can split up and stay more hidden. What could go wrong? Right. Calling to confirm that your order of red orchids will be delivered tomorrow by midnight. This is the Great Beyond Travel Agency. We will get back to you as soon as humanly possible. I am calling to confirm that your order of red orchids will be delivered tomorrow by midnight. Operator. Jax. Niobe, is that you? I'm not sure I can talk right now, Jax. Niobe, listen to me. They got Axel. Soren let everybody in after him. It's bad, Niobe. Real bad. Where? The airport. What? We're at the airport. Please, you gotta help us. Agents have cornered Soren and they're moving Axel to the tarmac. If they get him in the air, I'll have to pull the plug. What the hell happened down here? Thought you sent me to scream. It wasn't me. It's Soren. Agents pinch one of his crew. Now they've come in to try to rescue him. You? Yeah. Lucky for him, not so lucky for us. It's Axel. Shit. What do you want to do? See if you can help Soren. I'll go after Axel. Well, good luck. I'm certainly due for some. Yeah, let's save the progress. And we'll end this here. Concourse. So, uh, I'm going to assume, actually, I'm going to assume prologue. So, prologue, done. State of the game. I would say... I had I had to change my entire mindset when playing this game. So you have to use the focus meter. We're, we're gonna go through like you know process of learning, right? It's not enough to 
learn the combat, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, the gunplay. You have to learn to use the focus, how much focus to use, cover, keep cover in mind, how many enemies there are, do they spawn endlessly, and everything else in between. And you have to kind of combine everything to make the game somewhat playable. Also, um, I had to change the control style a little bit. So now, now my R is going to be um, my strife movement. So it's like hold down R and then move left and right. Instead of just like running straight, for, straight first into bullets, it's strife left and right. Clear out as many enemies as I can with the gun before make closing the di before attempting to close the distance, and before the focus runs out, find that cover, use that time to like self regenerate a little bit, get some get some focus back because this is a game where unfortunate this is a game where you are going to take damage. The problem is, or the question is actually, how much damage can you reasonably sustain before you find your next cover? But with that said, learning curves, getting there. We'll, ma we'll make it through at some point. Hold up. I, I just saw something with like the the little um, back arm move. Kind of funny. Kind of kind of had thought I had like a, like, I'm having fun with the background removal. <laughs> but no, so like, the controls are still ass. The game is like, janky as hell. But, I can manage it. I can adapt to the, to what the game is asking of me. I just wish it was better <laughs> because like again tank controls I'm good with tank controls but they have to function like the C stick shouldn't simply put the C stick shouldn't be like toggle between first and third person it's either your first person game or your third person games I don't mind if you have first person segments but those like with the car chase and stuff, that's fine. But don't have like a first and third person look and stick to one type, third or first person for each segment. For example, on foot, stick to third person and let that uh, C button, the, the C stick, let that be camera control because I have none of that. That's all. With that said, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Ow, bit my tongue. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. I don't know how long this game is gonna be. Also, uh, for the recommend, uh, I, two more games recommend recommended was uh, San Andreas, which I've already beaten, and um, Luigi's Mansion, which I have never played. I've only seen like a snippet of gameplay from my roommate, and that's about it. So with that said, uh, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see you guys later.